Hello everyone, Miss McEwen here with one of our first assignments for week one. So this is kind of a unique assignment. Um, everyone in the whole school, my school online, in person, third, fourth, fifth grade, will be doing this assignment for art. So this is called What Lifts You? And it is going to be a collaborative art piece. So let's talk about that a little bit. So we are gonna focus on the artist Kelsey Montague, who is an international street artist. So think about those words, international street artist. And think in your brain for take 10 seconds. What do you think is an international street artist? Here's your 10 seconds of thinking. All right. Think in your brain, what is that? What's your answer? Well, an international street artist is someone who creates art around the world in public spaces for everyone to enjoy. So around the world is where the international part comes from. And for in public spaces for everyone to enjoy is where the street art comes from because it could be something on the street, something you see just walking down uh, your neighborhood. So Kelsey Monahue, our artist that we're focusing on, is known for making these huge wing murals with the idea, what lifts you? So when she creates all these murals, she's got one all over the world and they're unique to the place they are. And so she always creates these um, wings with the idea of what lifts you, what lifts you. Hmm. And so the example I have on our slides here, let me move my face right there. This is actually one that she did in Louisville, Kentucky. So that's really close to us here in Charlestown. So we have roses and horses because Louisville is known for the Kentucky Derby, a horse race. So that is how the wings that she painted in Louisville, really close to us, are um, represented of the city of Louisville and what lifts the city. And so these are located in a neighborhood called Westport Village. Um, and so it's about 30 minutes away from Charlestown if you ever wanted to take a visit and see them. So let's think about that question now. What lifts you? What do you think that question means? Take five seconds and think about it. All right. So think and then answer on your own. What lifts you? So if I were thinking what lifts me as Miss McEwen, I would say what lifts me is something that keeps me going every day, what makes me feel most like myself. So what lifts me would be um, spending time with my friends and family. It would be getting to share new things with you guys. That makes me feel like my best self. Um, it would be cooking. I love to cook, um, trying new recipes. It would be being out in nature. That really makes me feel good and like my best self. So what lifts you? What makes you feel like your best self? Think about it. It might be different than mine. And you'll have a chance to share this in our Google form. Now think and answer to yourself, how can we lift each other this school year? Now some we're apart if we're on my school online and even the students in school, it is really different than years before. So this year is kind of unique. How can we lift each other this school year as students, um, as teachers? What is one way? I know a way for me that I um, can lift someone up is if I bring in a coffee or a tea for one of the other teachers um, that I know is maybe having a, a hard week because sometimes we all have a hard week or ways that I felt lifted is when maybe I see students really, really enjoying music or art class, and I can tell they're just having a lot of fun. And that makes me feel lifted um, that someone can do for me or just a simple hi and a wave in the hallway or a nice message that really lifts me. It makes me feel really good. Now, we are going to create a collaborative artwork based on this idea of what lifts you. 
So a collaborative artwork, that's kind of new. A collaborative artwork is one where lots of people work together to create one big piece of art. So normally in art class, we would sit down and we'd have our own project that we're working on and that's just for us and it's our own individual art. But this is going to be a big collaborative art where everyone has a piece of the art put together into one single piece of art. So we are going to make one feather per person and all the other teachers and um, Mr. Shireman and everyone in the building will be created or invited to create um, a feather as well as every single student in the school. And the feathers are going to be what lifts you as a person, but when we put them together, we'll be able to see what lifts us as a school. So at the end of the year, once everyone's gone through art, I'm going to put them together as our big wings and everyone will have a feather and we'll be able to see what lifts us as a school. So what you need to do for this assignment is use any materials you have at home. It can be pencils, markers, if you happen to have paint, um, colored pencils, crayons, whatever you have at home on a piece of paper. doesn't have to be any shape. I'm going to take care of the feather part. On a piece of paper, make a design or a drawing about what lifts you, what makes you you, what makes you feel like your best self. It can be abstract, like lines and designs. It can be drawings of something specific. And then here, let me move my screen so you can see the words here just in case. Then after you draw your design, your picture about what lifts you, really think about it and make it good because it's going to be hung up for the whole school to see. Um, and I'm going to take care of the feather shape, um, submit that into the Google form. And then once you submit it, I will take care of the part of turning it into a feather and adding it to our collaborative artwork here at school. And then once it's all put together, don't worry, even though um, some of us are my school, some of us are in person, I will make sure there's a way for you to see our whole collaborative artwork. So I'm excited to see what lifts you guys and what you choose to add to our big collaborative artwork as your feather and the designs you choose. So I can't wait to see, make sure you get that done and make sure you always ask me if you have any questions.